Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Moe, K Swedish Whiskey Girl, and today we're here with Swedish Whiskey. I got sent this sample from High Coast Distillery uh, earlier, or last week I guess, and it is their new release, High Coast Alba. For... <laughs> can't speak. I think it's because I need breakfast. Uh, yeah. 53% ABV. And I also have a little notes from the distillery, uh, which is easy to keep track of what it is. It's been matured in American white oak for eight years. It's peated distillate. It has, yeah, so it's 100% peated whiskey resting on American oak casks. And yeah, it's been matured for 8.3 years. Yeah, it's, a very interesting one for me because the whiskey that got me into liking High Coast was the Box American Oak. And of course High Coast has changed their name from Box to High Coast. But back when they were Box they released a whiskey called American Oak which I think was not 100% peated whiskey. I think it was more of an unpeated style if I remember correctly but that was so delicious. That was so so nice. It was really a wow moment when I tried them. And I have spoken a bit about High Coast before and done some reviews. But the if you're looking for information on whiskey and transparency, look for them because you will find the yeast type, you'll find I mean it's matured for 8.3 years. It's this amount of weight of yeast it's been distilled the head for this long and the heart for that long the tails for this long so yes it is um for transparency and for flavor also really nice but i am very fascinated about this one and it was released i think on Systembolaget in sweden uh, on the 9th of february but it's yeah I have high hopes for this one. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> but let's start by having a look on the nose. And of course it's called Alba because the type of oak that is used, the American white oak, is called Quercus Alba on Latin. And um, comparing that to something like European oak, uh, Quercus Rober, which is the red oak but you also have things like Quercus petrea which I think is Hungarian oak if I don't remember it wrong and you have Quercus mongolia and then you have lots of them so it's um, kind of an homage to white oak I guess I think the first thing you get is this nice combination of wood like freshly cut wood and toffee, like homemade gooey toffee. I mean, it is a little bit punchy on the nose, 53%. Um, so I am struggling a little bit to pick out things, but I will add a little bit of water later on. So let's start by having a taste instead. Slunge that or skål. It's definitely peated. Uh, the peat that comes out is quite ashy and drying. It's, it's quite interesting. It makes me think of Sweden in a way but the thing is compared to the UK Sweden has a lot of a drier climate in the UK when it's a little bit cold I mean when it's creeping towards zero degrees the winds can make you feel a lot colder and it also feels a lot colder inside and it's just this kind of humidity that kind of makes the cold grab onto you in Sweden it's completely different cold so it's quite dry which means that sometimes you don't feel it as much like it can be minus 20 degrees and I would almost be colder in Scotland when it's minus four 
um, because of that difference. But the smoke also makes it think makes me think of drier climates, probably because it is from Sweden and I'm kind of associating that in my brain. But it's just this flavour of ashy, dry smoke that is dry in a different way to maybe if you would find ashy smoke in an Isla whiskey. They would have like a coastal oiliness to them almost, but this is dry climate ashy, <laughs> if that makes sense. Now the smoke's coming out more on the nose as well. I think it's a little bit like that, what I was talking about in the previous whiskey I tried from them, the Solera. It has this almost sawdust note. It feels very, very robust. And if you are an Isla whiskey fan, something like this might intrigue you a lot because Especially if you're looking for a lot of smoke, because the smoke really grabs onto you. I mean, there are flavours underneath. And I don't know if it's because I haven't had breakfast yet, but... The alcohol... Definitely... Well, I wouldn't say definitely, but the alcohol is definitely burning a little bit. But I think also because... I am finding flavours underneath, but we'd like to lift them just a tiny bit further. On the finish you get the more, but I need to get some water so I can try with that. Here we go. I do think the combination of the smoke and the kind of toffee, probably, I mean, vanilla, <laughs> almost a little bit of pineapple maybe, like sooted pineapple, so I guess grilled pineapple. They come together really nicely. It feels quite, um, what's it called? Like the flavours feel quite natural. In a way. I would say it opens up with a little bit of water, and I, I for once didn't add that much water. I just added a few drops, maybe like three, four drops. It just makes the balance between the smoke and the alcohol and these underlying characters a little bit nicer. There's a wood, woodiness definitely there, but a nice woodiness that tastes good. It's not just over oaked. It just has a nice level of the wood that comes out. I wonder if they said <clears throat> that... It's new American oak. I'm not entirely sure if that is what it is. I think they said they've used a lot of new American oak cast before. So I don't know if this is only new American oak, but I can look it up as well. <clears throat> but it's, um, yeah, definitely a nicer mix now. It's that ashy, sooty almost smoke that comes out. I mean, robust if you like a, a quite peated whiskey, but with nice flavours around it. I mean, if you are a peat fan and you're looking to try a Swedish whiskey, I could definitely recommend High Coast because they are good at doing peated whiskey, in my opinion. Yeah, it still lingers. It's such a warming whiskey. I feel like this one is the one I always associate with the north, kind of like that foresty vibe. But I'd love to hear if you try a High Coast Alba. What did you think? Did you like it? Did you not like it? What's your favourite one from High Coast? 
And of course, if you like the channel and would like to support me, I'd be absolutely over the moon if you consider using my affiliate links with either Master Malt, the Whiskey Exchange, or the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. I put all those links in the description here below, as well as links to my other social channels if you're curious about those. And as always, a massive thank you to my wonderful supporters on Patreon. I am so grateful I have you guys with me on my whiskey journey. But I hope you've all had an absolutely wonderful day. Slanjava. Skål. <laughs>